has always been the story of a high school underdog, someone people underestimate, but who uses his extraordinary superpowers to achieve the impossible. That same description can easily apply to a group of high school students right here in Southern California. Take a look. Underneath these Friday night lights, there is something special happening. This is not just another football team. These are the Riverside Cubs of the California School for the Deaf. This is a team whose heart and soul has won them a place in the hearts of their community. In fact, this team of all deaf players made it all the way to the state championship game. I've known most of these boys their entire lives, so I have high expectations for these boys. In a sport where sound is typically crucial, their secret weapon is sign language. We use faster signs, more direct signs, instead of being more lackadaisical. We wanted to show that we can do it. If people think that we can't, it doesn't matter. Trevin and Anakin and their coach Keith Adams, y'all. So we also have with us two interpreters, a Wolf right here next to me, and then we have Julie with the team helping us out. So welcome them as well, everybody. So Coach Keith, I'm going to start with you. Tell us more about your school and these amazing kids. Uh, our school serves deaf and hard of hearing students from pre-K all the way through 12th grade, high school. We have students from uh, 12 counties in Southern California. My two kids, my two sons are students at the school as well. This is my fourth year being their coach. For many years, the football team has not done well. Uh, I've had some seasons with zero wins. And after COVID, the players hadn't seen each other for a year and a half. When, when we finally got back together in August, with all that's going on, craziness in the world, I said to these guys, fortitude, fortitude, that is the key to us making it. We can't let outside influences uh, affect us. We're gonna mm. go all the way. And because of that, it's really created a sense of brotherhood with this team, and that's why we've done so well. That's amazing. Well, Coach Keith's son, Trevin, is the starting quarterback, and he's credited with 76 touchdowns this season. Now, I don't know a lot about sports ball, but that sounds really impressive is what I'm saying. So, Trevin, despite your talents, do other teams, do you feel like they underestimate you? Yeah, sure do. Uh, other coaches would emphasize to their players, hey, don't lose to the deaf school, don't lose to those deaf kids. And oh. they would mock us. And uh, we didn't let that affect us, though. We just kept going. And, uh, you know, let them say what they will. That's, we're going to do our thing. And it took us all the way through a winning season, and we're really proud of what we've done. We, we achieved a lot through lots and lots of, of obstacles, uh, and we just kept going. So it's been a great season. Oh, my gosh. Well, here's the thing I want to tell you right now, Trevin, is when people say cruel stuff like that, just remember that ain't about you. That's about them and all their little demons they're fighting. That has nothing to do with you or anybody else. That's their own horrible self just exuding from their skin um <laughs> but Anakin, i agree you're right um Anakin, i, I want to talk to you so you you all say being deaf gives the team an advantage so can you tell us more about that yeah actually um we are so visually acute that we depend uh, visually on each other you know if a coach waves at us from across the field mm. uh uh, the quarterback can even uh, wave to the coach. It, it makes things more advantageous to us. Instead of having to get into a huddle, we can move a lot faster because we sign to each other. And um, our cheerleaders use drums uh, to help cheer on the crowd if we've made a touchdown or something like that. Uh, so it, it, it's called deaf gain. It's the advantage we have over hearing people. And uh, you know, having this brotherhood has really helped us through the season. That's incredible. I love that the cheerleaders use drums. That's so cool because you feel, you feel everything. It's an amazing thing how, uh, you know, y'all have learned to work with each other on the field and you see those signs quicker. And it's an amazing, not just story for us to hear, but thing to watch because humanity is such an, an incredible thing when we're, you know, working in our positive and, and shining so bright like y'all. So thank you so much for being this example for us. To Trevin and Anakin, um, you also have a lot to look forward to. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yep, there are um, one senior on the team who's leaving. We will be on the team next year, uh, and we'll be back to start 
next year. We're sophomores. Um, not satisfied with uh, what we did this year. I want to win that championship next year. We want to get All back right. to business, and that's our goal. Yeah. yeah and I, um, and Anna can say, I just want to add that, you know, our field is, is in not great condition. Um, our championship game, we actually had to host um, at another field because we don't have any lights. We were using portable gas lights, and the smell was kind of noxious for the players and not good for us. You know, we had over 3,000 fans at one of our games this season, and uh, we had to actually uh, take advantage of another stadium nearby at another high school. Our, our field's not in great condition. Our home stadium only has about 50 seats. The away side only has about 25 seats. Wow. The field's really small and, and, and not so great. Oh, my gosh. Well, and you, well, it looks like you didn't need it. <laughs> You, you were killing it without all that. Like, imagine what you do with it. So, well, Coach Keith, Trevin, and Anakin, what, when do you hope people, you know, at home take away from your story? Because it's incredible. Uh, we want to show the world that we are able, that we can achieve, that uh, these kids have the great tools to achieve, that we are encouraging them to work harder, to set goals, and that they can achieve whatever they want, just like anybody else with hard work. Absolutely. Well, well, while my friends from Spider-Man No Way Home had to go, they did want to give you something. Um, they're setting up a special open caption screening of the movie just for the entire team so they can go see it. And thank you so much to Galaxy Theaters for providing the theater and the concessions to the team. That's so awesome of y'all. Um, speaking of the team, Tony Shin from NBC4 Los Angeles is at the California School for the Deaf Riverside right now. He's hanging out with the rest of the squad. So, Tony, you're actually on the school's football field, right? That is exactly right, Kelly. And first of all, I want to tell you what an honor it is to be part of this fantastic show. And I personally want to thank you so much for what you're doing by recognizing and highlighting these guys to my right. That's right. This is the rest of the Riverside Cubs from the California School for the Deaf with some of their coaches. Now, I want to point out that we are on their home field, as you said. And I got to tell you, this field could really use some home improvements, if you will. Just like Anakin said, they had to play their championship game at a nearby high school because, well, this field can accommodate big crowds. Basically, the Cubs need more bleachers, lights, you name it. Thankfully, there are a lot of great people here in Riverside and local boosters have been busy raising money <laughs> for a new stadium. Now, I've been channeling my inner Peter Parker, and I gotta tell you that Right now, my spidey senses, Kelly, are really tingling, and <laughs> I think you have a big announcement, right? We do, we do. Coach Keith, we are blown away by your team and want to see you guys continue to grow. So on behalf of the show, we're giving your Booster Club $25,000. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Oh wow. my gosh. Absolutely. Th Ow. Thank you guys so much. And thank, thank you, you so much, much to the team. We thank love you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much, everyone. Y'all have such a great Christmas. And good luck on the next football season, y'all.